Well, good afternoon, folks. You got the Retail Nomad hitting you up from Adadia, Costa Rica, a suburb of San Jose. As Adadia is starting to climb the mountain, mountains here around the city, and it's where all the coffee bean farms and fields originated many moons ago. So we're going to do jump inside. We're going to do an actual coffee tour, showing you where the beans and the plants originate in the field and how they ultimately end up on the retail grocery store shelves throughout the Americas. Cafe Brit, the retail nomad, and Daddy of Costa Rica, Barva. Ciao. Follow us inside. The retail nomad traveling the globe, sharing what the retail environment is like, hidden corners of the world. Walking into the Cafe Brit home office and factory to start the tour, it looks as if you're walking into a national park sitting on the side of the hill overlooking San Jose. I have to be honest as I did not know much about the history of coffee originating in the continent of Africa and Ethiopia over to Saudi Arabia, Italy, France, Martinique, Brazil, and ultimately to Costa Rica. Pretty wild. A little Scooby-Doo fun bus, golf cart, Cafe Brit. It says it's always coffee time. Pretty sweet. In looking at the different coffee regions of Costa Rica, I had no idea that these variables of rain, sunlight, volcanic ash, elevation, clouds, temperatures had an effect on coffee. It was very interesting to learn the process going from seed to sprout to plant to flower to production can be a 10 month cycle and then going for a few years to before the plant itself is producing a high quality seed which ultimately can be then harvested for production of coffee. It was trippy to learn of the actual roasting process. It is truly a science, as almost a chef-like process on baking a cake as the ingredients, the timing and so forth has such an effect on the end result and the flavors. It was truly so cool to learn the history of the ox cart, commonly called cutaretas, this two-wheel cart hauled hundreds of pounds of coffee up and over the mountains to port towns to be put on boats to be transported north and then across to Europe to sell their goods hundreds of years ago. Friends, before to deal your coffee in the market, you have two problems. The weather is crazy, modifies your raw material, and number two, coffee is cultural. You learn how to drink coffee. If you grew up with a specific cafeteria, you are tasting one flavor, one. Coffee could give you many more. I had never thought about how coffee is viewed differently around the world, many countries using it to socialize for an hour or two a day, and in North America we use it as a stimulant driving to work. For a long time, coffee was the number one agricultural export here, until being dethroned by the multinationals with banana and pineapples. It's so very cool to learn that the local coffee industry here is a combination of about 30,000 local farms that feed into the multi-billion industry of exportation. Kudos to the Cafe Brit team on this amazing coffee tour, bringing us up close and personal to the factory, the production, the roasting, the growing, so forth, showing us how Costa Rica produces only 1% of the world's production, but yet some of the highest standards. Checking out the mountains of southern, south central Costa Rica. As you can see behind me, it's just green, lush, verde. Uh, it's a combination of a bunch of pineapple fields in this region and area and coffee bean fields and plantations. So the two biggest exports um, would be coffee and pineapple on this side in this region. What are the odds that I'm bouncing around the mountains of Costa Rica checking out coffee farms and out of nowhere pops up a Nespresso sign? Crazy! I can easily smile as I tip my next cup of Costa Rican coffee knowing that I'm helping support 150,000 individuals locally involved in this coffee industry. And this here will give you a quick glimpse of what the mountainous valley region in southern Costa Rica looks like, where they grow pineapples, coffee, and so forth in the agricultural area. What I want to do is give a big, big shout out and kudos to the world famous Maida and Mateo for the tour I had ending up at Mis Abuelos with Fanny. Thanks much. And here I found one of the locations where all the local farmers brings all their seeds, the ca coffee bean seeds. It's Cafe Cerro Biole. And it's the, where they process all the beans in this factory back here. And then they sell them to the larger wholesalers. It's the way that all the big companies that we've all heard of up north Starbucks, Duncan, 
All of them. That's right, Dutch Brothers. They all purchase from these type of companies in Central America and around the world. And as we get close to finishing up this week's video, I wanted to dance inside of the uh, Cafe Brit corporate store to give you an idea of their product selection, the category mixes. They've got everything from the chocolates, uh, uh, covered every kind of exotic fruit you can think of, to the souvenirs, the, uh, the stuffed animals, the, the cigars, um, so forth. It, uh, it is really well merchandised. The selections by category, you got the organics, um, they've even got t-shirts and hats and so forth. Really nice looking store here in uh, Adadia, Costa Rica. Then closing out this vid, we stop by an Aldo Mercado store location just to take a peek and see what the uh, Cafe Brit section looked like as it was uh, near the end cap prominent uh, location. A uh, beautiful looking display piece here. And here we are wrapping up this week's video as we just started the day off checking out La Finca de Cafe Brit in Barba Adania. And then as you see behind me here, jumped into one of the largest supermarket chains in the country by the name of Aldo Mercado, showing you how the actual coffee products are represented on the shelf in a retail store. Retail Nomad, Adania, Costa Rica, a suburb of San Jose. Hopefully you enjoyed learning where the coffee bean originates. Catch you next week. Stay tuned to the Retail Nomad, as each week we'll be profiling different types of shopping experiences around the world. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Ciao.